2023, more than just the year Aussies went cray cray for Tay Tay, Barbie made a comeback. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Twitter became X. Change Bluebird logo with an X. And the Matildas made it to the World Cup semi final. Climate change is here, it is terrifying, and it is just the beginning. We also saw Australia get moving on tackling climate change. So here's our top 10 climate wins for the year. High uptake of rooftop solar. Australia is the windiest and sunniest country in the world, so we've got a fantastic renewables resource. The Albanese government has announced that Australia will rejoin the UN's Green Climate Fund of the Pacific Island Forum, where the region's leaders will call on the Prime Minister to ban new fossil fuel projects. Buckle in, the Climate Change Minister says it's time to shift gears on electric vehicle uptake. The EV market is accelerating fast in Australia. Providing affordable electric vehicles. This is a historic breakthrough for the world's oceans, a treaty that is the pathway towards protecting 30% of the high seas by 2030. A major sign of change on the energy landscape as Liddell has well and truly come to the end of its lifespan. The closure of Liddell has been a long time coming. Climate change and energy minister Chris Bowen, he said that the closure of Liddell wouldn't cause a supply crunch for the grid. This announcement will deliver real cost of living relief for Victorians. Consumer groups, environmentalists and the health sector have hailed the policy as a win. Studies show that cooking with gas is responsible for up to 12% of the childhood asthma burden in Australia. What's the solution? Solutions induction. Australia trails a number of developed nations in the race to build offshore wind projects. Offshore wind is jobs rich, and energy rich. Clive Palmer's proposal to build the Galilee coal mine, the largest ever coal mine in Australia, has been knocked back. Yes. Community batteries help to ease pressure on the grid, preserving cheap energy for when it's needed. The Australian icon, the Hamilton Hand, is officially 100% renewable. So, what have we at the Climate Council been up to? Safeguard mechanism, safeguard mechanism. We fought hard to make sure reform of the safeguard mechanism policy, one of the biggest opportunities for real emissions reduction in Australia over the last decade, was as strong as possible. We educated Australians about the dirty truths behind gas and the financial and health benefits of going all electric. We drove home the benefits of cleaning up our polluting transport system and shifting it to one that focuses on prioritising moving people, not cars. Thousands of Aussies joined our call to make sure our national environment law is updated to consider climate change and its impacts so that it can adequately protect our treasured natural places. Alongside Aussie icons, we advocated to stop polluting fossil fuel giants from sponsoring our beloved sports, arts and events. Won government to prepare for a potentially devastating fire season ahead. Worked with leading ocean scientists to call out the existential threat climate change poses on our oceans. We shone a light on the mental health toll climate disasters are having on Australians in partnership with Beyond Blue. And we did it while empowering all these incredible people. Thank you to our incredible Climate Council community, thousands of passionate advocates right around the country who support our work. That's by doing what you can to chip in, contacting decision makers, signing our petitions, or doing whatever you can to be part of the people-powered solution on climate change. Our work and impact is possible thanks to you, and together we're shaping the future of climate action. So here's to you, and an even bigger year of climate action in 2024.